Hi everyone, hope you're doing okay. Um, and uh, today we're going to continue our, our theme from Sunday from uh, Mark chapter 2. And if you were part of the service, this, the theme was, was all about Jesus prioritizing um, freedom from sin. Uh, and the first two sections of Mark chapter 2 really clearly show that, shows how Jesus is priority when when the man was lowered through the roof by his four friends um, his priority in that situation was to firstly say son your sins are forgiven it wasn't about the condition of the roof how dare he be interrupted or what was going on here he just said son your sins are forgiven which is just great because that's great for you and for me that actually God's priority in your life and my life or is for us to be free from sin and that is the grace of God in our lives that enables his fantastic completed work on the cross to be able to be worked in and through our lives you know, in a continuous way freeing us from the hold that sin has on us and its consequences which is death uh, and the next bit uh, the bit about uh, Levi uh, Jesus uh, called him from his tax collecting booth didn't he and then he went and dined with him and Levi had other other sinners and tax collectors dying with them too. And Jesus said that it's not the, the healthy that need to talk to, but the sick. So Jesus, again, showing that he is there. He is amongst the community of, of sinners and tax collectors, as it were. Why? Because he is the one who's able to bring wholeness to them. And uh, today, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about sin and you think if I didn't talk about it enough on Sunday well here's a little bit more about it and it's because this is the thing that God is dealing with in our lives and and wants to deal with in the lives of those around us and one of the things we didn't think about is actually what is sin well maybe we did touch on it a bit because we talked about the bit of, um, uh, Adam and Eve right at the beginning and sin was manifest and birthed through disobedience to God wasn't it and uh, I'm not going to repeat myself from Sunday, um, but but it's birth through disobedience, and we live in a world that is just set up against the God we worship, uh, and sin is 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 um, at work in in us sometimes and around us as well. But what is it? Yeah, what is it? What does the Old Testament say that sin is? Well. There's, um, there's a word in the Old Testament uh, that is um, commonly translated as sin. So, for example, Psalm 103 and verse 3 talks about God who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. So the word for sins here um, means, well, a variety of things. It means uh, iniquities. And um, you're thinking, oh, yes, yeah, but Dave, what does iniquity mean? Well, iniquity is about immoral or grossly unfair behaviour. So it's about immoral behaviour or or unfair behaviour. That's what iniquity is. Um, and uh, where am I? So it means uh, iniquity. It means guilt. Uh, and it means and it also means punishment for iniquity. And 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 that's kind of the essence of of how sin is described in the Old Testament. And what that actually means is it's it's about basically breaking the law so if you break the law then that's a sin um, and sometimes the law is summed up simply as God in the case of Adam and Eve God asking you to do something asking them to do something and then by not doing it, it is breaking that it is breaking the lawgiver um, who is God isn't it is breaking his command and and so when uh, like in Psalm 103, uh, verse 3, when it talks about um, God being the one who forgives all your sins, it's talking about the fullness of the sin that he's forgiving. So he's forgiving um, the iniquity and consequently he's getting rid of the, the punishment for the iniquity, which is all in one word in that, which is actually good for you and me. So in the New Testament, uh, the this, this meaning for sin is, is more uh, nuanced. It, it kind of 
means um, a, a fault or, or failure, kind of around around those sort of things, but in a in an ethical sense, or or like a, a sinful deed. But it, but but the proper fullness of the of the meaning uh, of the word for sin here it means missing the mark. So whenever the word sin is used, it means that um, you know we've missed the mark. So if you if you're a sinner, you are someone who misses the mark. But but what is the mark? Well, there, there's a, a verse in Romans three twenty three that says this: For all have sinned, so all have missed the mark, and fall short of the glory of God. So God is holy. God is 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 glorious in splendor. He is mighty in power and a majestic king, the majestic king. And well, we can't do it, can we? We can't we can't measure up to him. We can't measure up to his perfection. We can't attain his glory because well, everything we do falls short, you know. Um, our, our best thoughts and intentions are, are tainted with, with sin a lot of the time. And we try and justify the good that we do to try and outweigh some of the bad that we do sometimes. And actually it's Christ who justifies us. It's Christ who is able to get rid of the sin in our lives. It is just Jesus alone. He is the one and he has done it. And so he, um, in, in Hebrews 12, 2, it talks about Jesus being the author and the perfecter of our faith. So, so our fall, you know, when, when we're trying to, you know, hit the mark, but we actually fall short. Actually, we're falling short, but Jesus, he makes it good. He makes our, our good intentions perfect. He makes our, our walk full of life and light. Um, because we can't do it and we need him so today if uh, if you're thinking you can do it without Jesus then well you'll fall short you might even have a good day but you will fall short of God's glory um, so let's let's start this time this day wherever you happen to be even if you're watching this in the evening let's start now by praying and asking God to deal with our sin and to help us hit the mark. Let's just pray. Father God, um, we know that we fall short of your glory all the time if we try it in our own strength. But praise be to you, for you have made a way through your Son Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that in him is fullness of life, is redemption, forgiveness justification and, and the fullness of that forgiveness of sin forgiveness from guilt uh, forgiveness from and freedom from the iniquity and the consequence of the iniquity wow thank you Lord that you have done it we praise you Jesus Amen well, it's great having this opportunity to share with you again. Uh, I hope you'll have a good, great day. Uh, I'm uh, I'm off um, from uh, Wednesday, well, on Wednesday, Thursday, uh, and Friday of this week. Uh, it's my wedding anniversary Friday, and uh, we have no, we're having some days away. Um, but uh, God bless you, and uh, God keep you. Bye for now.